Obviously, Blood Spell's done incredibly well. Um, quite astonishingly well, actually. Um, I've had some very scarily impressive people tell me that it pretty much represents the state of the art for machinima right now which is nice um uh, we've been written up in the guardian usa today um been on the bbc boing boing suicide girls blah 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 it's it's done amazingly well um it's really a bit of a shock to all of us and obviously the question is what do we do now what do we do now At the time I started with Bloodspill, I had uh, finished university about a year before and was looking for work. Um, Bloodspill seemed like a good way to gain some experience and hopefully uh, improve my prospects a bit. What was I doing when I first got involved in Bloodspell? Four years back. Four years back, bloody hell. About four years back, um, I would have been just starting working for um, the local council. Um, before I started working in in Bloodspell, work in Bloodspell, I wasn't some kind of horrible low poly actor. Before I started working in Bloodspell, I was working in a shitty job. Um, at the uh, at the time, at the time of uh, joining the cast of Bloodspell, I was finishing off my uh, uh, resoundingly successful tutu in philosophy, um, and I am now a, uh, I suppose, professional actor and comedian. Uh, I. Just moved to Edinburgh when I started work on Bloodspell. I was freelancing in graphic design, multimedia, doing website stuff, doing some logo design. Uh, I was trained in animation, have an animation degree, and I worked previously in animation studios, some computer games, TV shows. Uh, and I was just looking for an avenue to get back into some proper 3D animation that wasn't just flying a, a logo around the screen. It's very difficult uh, getting work in, in TV and film, obviously, um, that's anything more involved than a runner or whatever. Um, and it seemed like a really good opportunity to actually really get involved with the artistic side of things. Um, and I'd recently moved to Edinburgh. Uh, it, was just, it was just serendipity that um, I ended up in the situation where I could uh, join in and I was very happy with that. Bloodspell cast and crew have at this point scattered all over the world. Um, some of them have disappeared down to Cambridge to work for the uh, Machinima developer Short Fuse. Um, our actors are variously uh, pursuing careers in Scotland, in London, in Liverpool. Um, since doing Bloodspell I've, I've moved to London and recorded and performed uh, my first radio show with my uh, sketch uh, comedy team, the Penny Griffiths, which will be broadcast on starting January the 11th. After I went to do paid work, which was journalism and so on, um, that kind of rolled from there. Um, and I kept on working through journalism and doing various kind of arts production stuff. And um, then I saved up and actually went on around world travels, which is why I'm now sitting in New York. I have um, been doing some more voiceover work. I've taken a course down in Manchester. Um, a few audio tours, possibly a Halo movie. Other stuff coming up. I've uh, been one of the mentees in the Playwright Studios mentorship and I've been writing a lot of scripts. I've now got a radio play in production with Radio Scotland. I've written another couple of novels which are out there. I've been writing short stories. No other voice acting, which is a shame because I really enjoyed that and it would have been nice if that, if that had come up again. And yeah, in three months time I'm going to have another baby. Um, I'm living with my girlfriend. Uh, and the cat, obviously. And uh, depressingly nothing much else. Um, well, I have got a job, but uh, not really in, in my, uh, the area I was looking for at the time. Uh, Since the end of Bloodspell, I've uh, gone back to freelancing, picked up uh, some good clients and some good regular contracts working at Scottish Television and doing industrial product animation is what I'm working on right at this moment. It's very exciting stuff. Um, afterwards I uh, worked on a, a few more uh, TV shows um, and found it frustrating again from being involved artistically to going back running around and uh, so I, um, I ended up moving on to working at the Edinburgh Fringe and uh, got very involved in that uh, for a couple of years. 
and uh, now I'm working for a publishing company. So it's all been change. And now I'm working for a lot more money for another local council, which is further away, and which I have to wear a suit for. At this point we've been uh, shooting Bloodspell, or doing things to Bloodspell for about four and a half years, and really hoping to finish it this year so I actually get some time off. I'm not sure what he was planning as his next project, um, but hopefully it'll be a bit shorter, that'll be good. Strange Company, I know, has things on the table, projects in the works. We've got a bunch of ideas that we're developing, mostly sort of fantasy, fantasy science fiction type stuff. The big thing that I'm really interested in at the moment that I'm investigating uh, is new technology though, because since we started making Bloodspell, Machinima technology has advanced a lot and we are looking into a lot of new areas to essentially make the next film look a lot closer to a Hollywood production while still retaining the kind of punk independent underground, nah fuck it, we'll just do it edge. I've heard Hugh talking quite a lot about the idea of um, more easily available motion capture. I think with things like the Nintendo Wii bringing out um, well, what essentially motion, de motion detector controls, it looks like the technology is getting a lot cheaper. Um, I think we might, might start to see a lot more uh, machinima applications which are done with actual human actions. Um, I've been uh, experimenting with uh, la the latest uh, motion capture rigs um, and it looks really, really good and I think it's going to... Being able to use motion capture will both make it easier to shoot because one of the biggest problems we had with Bloodspell was that our control mechanisms were very, very primitive and very limited. Um, and so we had a lot of times we had to shoot again and again and again. It will also mean that we can create much higher visual uh, quality because a lot of the time when people said on Bloodspell, you know, it looks crude, it looks like a game, what they're referring to is the, compute, is the animation because we had such limited animation. It's getting away from the Thunderbirds aesthetic that we're going for with motion capture. We want to essentially get much closer to things like Beowulf, which I think for me has been the most astonishing film I've seen this year. Um, just in terms of here is a performance capture film that worked and it really really did work and it showed what the medium can do and it helps that the kind of stuff that they're doing with that medium there is also the kind of stuff that I want to shoot anyway. So as far as I'm concerned um, I really want to do something else like Bloodspell, not necessarily a sequel to Bloodspell although that might happen. Um, yeah, now, and now that I've said that about half the crew are going to be lining up to kill me. Bloodspell 2 there's a lot of unanswered questions from the first one, and I had a whale of a time doing the first one, so yeah, I'd be up for a second one. I would absolutely adore to be in a blood spell too, if it came up again. Um, I was very upset that the angel had to say no, no, and disappear in a flash of fire at that time. So I, I'd like, you know, it'd be nice to bring the angel, not to say it's him or her, but the angel back, but also Ariane is such a wonderful character, and we never did explore in the story why she's thrice born, so there are lots of things to explore with her. She's great fun. I know a lot of people would like to see um, a blood spell too immediately, um, and I can understand that, but I think that really it would be beneficial to do something completely fresh, um, uh, something wholly different. Um, that's what I'd like to see. Well, I know from, from the forum people want a sequel. <laughs> um, whether they get that or not is not in my hands. <laughs> do you think there should be a sequel? I'm not going to have to hurt you.